Hey folks, it's Eric here, the Whatever Guy, because whatever me, and we are going to start a series on exposing Delta 8 companies. Y'all stick around, and I'll tell you some more about that. All right, and as you guys know, we are giving away a Rift brand Delta 8 syringe, or actually two of these, on September 6th, which I don't know if it's Labor Day or not. I'm all confused on my dates and all that. Uh, but either way, September 6th, 12 noon, Peter's going to pick a winner for this. You guys click that like, subscribe button, like button, subscribe button, and smash that bell notification. So I shoot these videos five or six days a week, basically keeping you guys updated on the world of hemp, cannabis, uh, Delta 8, 10, 9, whatever. Uh, just basically just what's going on in our realm. And having said that, uh, we are going to give one of these, two of these away on September 6th at 12 noon. This was a buy one, get one free over at Great CV Shop. They have since uh, moved on from that promotion to other uh, promotions I have. Uh, but since we advertise this as a buy one, get one free, I'm going to go ahead and send two of these out to someone on September 6th at 12 noon. You guys hit that link for uh, the giveaway down in the description and, uh, and smash that bell notification, like I said, because uh, you guys will be notified when I shoot videos and stuff like that. And sometime next week at 12 noon, we'll have that picked on uh, September 6th. All right, man. So moving forward, uh, talking about, we're going to do a, uh, actually this, this video is for Gregory Y. Um, I was sitting here deciding on, on a couple of different series of videos that I wanted to do. And one of the, you know, one of the suggestions I actually got yesterday, uh, and I've actually had this suggestion from someone else before, but, uh, Gregory Y, uh, this video is for you and this series is for you. What I'm going to try to do is every week, I'm going to try to do at least one video on exposing Delta eight companies, good or bad. Um, uh, and, uh, well, and they will be my experiences with those companies. Cause as you guys know, uh, with my, um, you know, I don't have the full knowledge of everything that's going on in the Delta 8 industry, but I have been shooting videos for the last nine months. And for those of you who don't know, I first came to Delta 8, um, after getting a, uh, a hit for a drug violation or actually a possession charge, a minor possession charge after a little, uh, traffic stop. And that started a journey where I found Delta 8 and, uh, up until that point, I had never known anything about Delta 8. I had been a long time marijuana smoker and, uh, had, you know, once I got pulled over, I tried many, many CBD products up until the point where I found uh, Delta 8. Now you have to also remember that up until this point, I never really wanted my video take, you know, uh, uh, certainly a movie taken on me. I hardly ever had any pictures taken on me. Uh, but what happened was, is when I found Delta 8, that actually was the catalyst for this YouTube channel. And as time went on, uh, talking about the series and the Delta 8 sellers and all that kind of stuff. I've learned quite a bit about uh, the Delta 8 industry and the disparities that are going on in it. Um, but having said that, uh, as far as exposing Delta 8 companies and the company we're talking about today, we're going to talk about Baycol Supply. Now, they are resellers for Delta Farms. Um, and as you guys know, if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, I am a proponent for Delta Farms. Now, I like Delta Farms, the, you know, as far as the, the card itself, uh, the, the type of uh, product that they put forward. However, I do not agree with the internal workings of Delta Farms, Spencery, or, you know, now, you know, actually it started with Vapor Supply. Um, probably about six, seven months ago, I got um, approached on this YouTube channel uh, from a guy named Siobhan Karen Garaja. Uh, he's a young kid that actually owns Vapor Supply. Um, and he contacted me, I think about six, seven months ago. And I think I have to go back and look at the video. But he actually contacted me, offered our viewers a uh, coupon code uh, to come over to Vapor Supply and buy uh, their products. And, you know, actually I had done a, uh, my girl had actually bought some stuff from Vapor Supply. Uh, that was my first entry into Delta Farms. And then my review of that Delta Farms product is actually what brought his attention over to offer us that um, that coupon code. Now, the coupon code was originally going to be 25%, I believe, um, and then, uh, you know, and, and the coupon code was whatever. Um, and because, you know, me being young in the in the Delta 8 world and, and really liking the Delta Farms product, not realizing that Vapor Supply was a reseller for that product, um, I was latched onto that 100%. And, I, and I've done a, probably reviews of every single Delta Farms cart that there is and Spencery cart that there is. Anything that they have on their site, I'm sure you can go back to my videos and find. Because again, they do produce a massively great uh, quality and potent product. But having said that, uh, from that point forward, I had nothing but um, uh, problems from uh, Vapor Supply, Delta Farms, and, and just issues with them all the way around. Uh, as we move forward into that, talking about exposing the companies and Maple Supply, uh, this Siobhan guy started up an affiliate program basically for me. Um, he didn't have any other affiliates that, that I'm aware of. Matter of fact, I, I've done quite a few searching. There wasn't any affiliates. Um, I was the first person on his affiliate platform. And the reason why I know that is, is because simply because he had no, uh, there was no information on his um, website, or excuse me, on his affiliate uh, platform whatsoever. No email swipes, no advertisements. There was nothing. Anything that he has 
over there right now is is what I created myself for my own advertising uh, uh, benefit, and then I you know allowed them to use uh, those um, marketing uh, you know email swipes and stuff like that, and, and you know just add uh, templates and stuff. All that stuff is stuff that I had to actually learn, pull off of, of something else or, or figure it out on my own. Uh, they had nothing to offer. Um, they just basically said, here's your code, um, you know, and, and, your, and your customers can save some money. Uh, and they gave you no uh, help whatsoever. And then fast forward to that same coupon code that he gave uh, to our customers. Um, it goes about a month and a half, two months later. Uh, like I said, on our YouTube channel and on public comment, uh, he asked us if we wanted a coupon code, told us the coupon code was going to be 25%. And then about three months later, I get a message from one of my guys on uh, one of our viewers on a channel and find out that uh, that coupon code is not 25% anymore. It's 20%. Uh, again, this guy, Siobhan, Karen Garage, just a kid, uh, never communicated, never told me when there was any sales, never told me when he had any new products coming out. Uh, basically, and when he did talk to me, he lied to me. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys about that in a minute. Uh, but then he, you know, then he changed our coupon code without even saying anything to me about it. He, he never sent me an email, never said, hey, I'm changing your code. Uh, matter of fact, I wouldn't have known anything about it if it hadn't been for a viewer of this channel uh, telling me that that coupon code had changed. And then we fast forward to the fact uh, that, you know, they owed, they owed me money. So what I had done was, is because I was all in on Delta Farms and I agreed, you know, I liked uh, the product that Delta Farms put forward, I actually went out and as you guys know, I travel around a lot. And so I actually printed up flyers, man. And I went to uh, every vape shop or every gas station that I stopped off in uh, between here and Milton, between here and Montgomery, between here and Birmingham, I dropped those papers off uh, to provide um, an all, you know, a way for uh, these shops to get a better product in their store uh, through wholesale accounts. And I spent a lot of time, uh, you know, coming up with that, um, you know, that, that, paper, the poster that I was dropping off, talking to these customers, uh, each of these stores that I went into, um, even to the point where uh, offering that I would come out and do videos on site if they ever decided to get Delta Farms in their stores. Uh, as you guys know, m and Smoke Shop in Thomasville, Alabama ended up with one of those wholesale accounts. I think Demopolis is, is one of them. Uh, and of course, up in Jackson, Alabama is also another one. And, and I, there's a few other wholesale accounts. But like I said, I spent my money, my time, my effort uh, to go out and push these wholesale accounts. Uh, all for this guy to basically lie to me about the money he owed me. He would, um, you know, he's, you know, his words were, and, and I've got the proof of all of this, the emails and everything that he sent me uh, when we first started. Um, you know, he would pay on the 1st and the 15th for these wholesale accounts and stuff like that. Any money, you know, obviously if they ordered, I would get a little bit of kickback for that. Um, but the deal was is that like, you know, you expect your money on the 1st and 15th, like you said, he never kept his word. Uh, sometimes it would be the 3rd, sometimes it would be the 7th. At first, it was just two or three days. And then later on, it became, you know, weeks that it would be late. And then in the end, it became months that it would be late. Um, at, at the very end of the whole thing with Vapeful Supply uh, and this guy lying the whole time and not responding to my emails and not responding to uh, customer complaints and, and anything else like that, uh, because customers, you know, viewers would complain about anything that happened with Vapeful Supply. And obviously me having an in, I would be able to go and look at their order and, and you know, and at least help them somewhat uh, decide what was going on with the slow shipping or whatever the case was. The deal was with Vapeful Supply is, is that they just basically never communicated with me at all. And then, uh, you know, with the whole paying a month late, uh, they used, uh, you know, when I finally got to the point where I'm like, okay, man, you know, what's up with the money? You know, what, you know, why are you not keeping your word? Uh, you know, because you were big on keeping your word in the beginning. Um, what happened was, is that they used Delta Farms and Spencery as their scapegoat. The actual email that I've got is that um, uh, the reason why he couldn't pay me is because Delta Farms and Spencery, which is the same company, had an emergency. They couldn't pay him, so he couldn't pay them. So, you know, me being proactive and, and obviously questioning uh, this guy's uh, word over months of this uh, actual action happening. What I did was I contacted Delta Farms. I contacted, uh, you know, the owners of Spencery, and they told me that they had no issues, that they had, he had been paid, and that a couple of his, they had tried to pay him previous months, and a couple of his accounts had been shut down uh, by the banks. Um, so, you know, the issue was really never with Delta Farms. It was actually, or Spencery, it was actually with uh, Vapor Supply and Siobhan Karen Garaja. However, uh, you know, talking to these guys over at Delta Farms, um, you know, I, you know, they assured me that I would be paid eventually. I don't know how they can assure me to be paid whenever uh, Vapor Supply is who owes me the money. But having said that, they put themselves out there, a claim that I would be paid 
eventually. I'm still not paid. And, um, you know, just basically kept on doing business with this Siobhan Karen Garage. Um, my understanding is now they're kind of getting away from that. Uh, you know, Siobhan, I don't think you can go to Vapor Supply and buy Delta Farms anymore, which is kudos for Delta Farms for doing that. Uh, but for me, it's a little bit too late, uh, you know, because, again, you backed someone, in my opinion, uh, that couldn't keep their word. You didn't stand forward and keep your word. And so even though um, Delta Farms is a really, and Spencery are really, really super good products, I do not agree with, um, you know, with how I was treated or how some of my viewers uh, were treated with the whole changing of the coupon code without saying anything. Um, and, and some of the customer service issues that they've had over at Vapor Supply. Uh, Delta Farms basically stood behind him, supported him, uh, never, you know, never helped me at all, even though they kept spouting their mouth off about how I'd get paid. And, and again, I'm sitting here several months later and I'm not getting paid. And just, just for another, you, you know, just for uh, shits and giggles, let me throw this out there. You know, just the other day, I looked on my uh, Cash App and you know how you can request money from people for Cash App? Vapor Supply actually requested $1,000 from me and they owe me. Uh, quite a bit of money. So, you know, again, poking the tiger, uh, having, you know, having a good laugh over there, just up there laughing it up and having a good time thinking that they're not getting touched. But the fact of the matter is, dude, you don't keep your fucking word. You don't keep, uh, you, you're not, you, you're basically just a reseller for uh, Delta Farms and Spencery, and you basically trashed their brand, okay, and brought them into the argument for no other reason than the fact that you could. Uh, for the, so for those of you that are out there, uh, you know, that are asking me about doing uh, the THCP cart that Delta Farms has, I will probably do that review. But as far as buying Delta Farms in bulk uh, or dispensary in bulk anymore, it probably won't happen. I will probably do the THCP cart when and if a uh, great CBD shop ever gets it. I would buy it through great CBD shop, even though I know that money eventually goes back to Delta Farms. But I would never, ever buy anything from Siobhan, Karen, Garaja or Vapor Supply again. And if you guys like this series about uh, uh, exposing Delta 8 brands that sell online, stick around next week and I'll tell you guys about Scorny Boys and my experience with them. All right, folks, it's whatever guy signing off, man. I told you guys if you stick around the end, uh, you guys get a Riff brand Delta 8 syringe on September 6th at 12 noon. If you're just going to pick a winner for that, you guys click that link down in the description and we will uh, send two of these out to someone, a lucky viewer of ours on September 6th at 12 noon. Uh, and I hope you guys be a little bit fired up because I guess talking about Facebook Supply does get me a little bit fired up. Uh, but that will be, it looks like we're going to do a new series on exposing Delta 8 brands and companies and sellers uh, on this channel uh, every week. So you guys, and th those will be mostly my experiences and our viewers' experiences with those companies. All right, folks, it's whatever guys sign off, man. I hope everybody's having a great week and I will talk to you guys tomorrow, man. Love you. See yeah.